During the summer months in southeastern Louisiana, lizards hiding in the bushes can make walking an obstacle course, but some have noticed something different about them. We're out catching greens and suddenly the greens are not that common. Simon Liveau is a biologist at the University of New Orleans, and we met him uptown where he was catching lizards to study their genetics. And he's not very happy about that, but he's fine. As some are finding it hard to spot green lizards, others, like those in Bouti, recently say the brown ones look more aggressive, like small dragons. Live O says they shouldn't be that much bigger, just different features. The males are much stouter, right? They're much more robust animals than the, the greens. Their heads are also a little bit shorter. And he tells us green anoles, the more scientific name, have existed in North America for six million years. But the brown species, which is native to Cuba and the Caribbean, were introduced here through trade. Experts think they've been coming through Florida for several decades. Animals that escape from the, the pet trade, but also sometimes you'll find either the animals or the eggs of the animals brought in on plants. While some worry the native species is being driven out, Livo says they're more so being driven up. When browns are present, um, the greens contract their range and they move higher up into the trees. However, he says there has been an increase in the population of the brown lizard. 25 degrees to this animal is too cold for it, for some things. Um, but what has been happening is that the longer they've been here, and the more they're exposed to those cold temperatures, the more they're able to adapt to it. The darker anole also lays more eggs and has a longer breeding season that lasts from February to October. The, the browns are probably going to be here to stay. It is very difficult to get rid of invasive vertebrates. And for now, he says the green lizards aren't going anywhere. You just have to look for them in higher places. In Uptown, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News. Lavo also says the males of the two species don't show much aggression towards each other. Rather, it's the females that are more territorial.